as I've been thinking about how to work with AI and work with the sort of diffusion model, I've been thinking about it more and more like it's like um, it's its own sort of like uh, sub dimension. I'm trying not to use the words multiverse or meta metaverse. So, um, so, so I'm going to call it a sub dimension, but it's like, I think of it like, it's like almost like, okay, so stable diffusion is like this box. It's like this sub dimension that has trillions and trillions of possible images in it um, that, you know, you can sort of stick your head in and, you know, it, sort of steer a camera around and then kind of get what you want and then come back out and then you can kind of keep sort of dipping into this i call it a sub dimension because i don't think it's a parallel dimension i don't think we can exist in it but it definitely has uh within those five billion images and those trillions of possible combinations it has its own uh you know there's a it has its own geography you know the abandoned grocery store in the, in the, uh, the latent space is somewhere near like the, like the zombie infested high school, which is probably somewhere near, you know, like the abandoned mall, you know, but like you can construct a geography in latent space through the uh, relationship of concepts to each other. Mm -hmm. So the different areas of the suburbs and then different combining different concepts of, um, you know, different like thematic or, or stylistic concepts is, is one of the other things that's that's really exciting. So so I guess what I'm, I'm trying to say is anybody who's using it for the first time what matters so much is your vocabulary is to think about like what's the style what's the genre what does stuff look like what does it feel like what does it remind you of you know um things like the suburbs things like outside of pittsburgh like that means something like you can actually use the phrase outside of pittsburgh you know and it will actually start to sort of geolocate in latent space what it understands as outside of pittsburgh it's such a rabbit hole too because i mean we could then talk about GPT-3 and how that allowed us to be able to communicate to a computer using words like outside of Pittsburgh, whereas before you wouldn't be able to do that because it would interpret it in a very, very rudimentary way. It's one of those things if you go back to video games, and I'm not talking about like even Atari 2600, but like text-based images, uh, sorry, text-based uh, so you're on autopilot, I'm like <laughs> thinking AI. But you're thinking like adventure, you're thinking like back, yeah. Yeah, yeah like, like actually, Bard's it, Tale. It was like the easy way to write a, a video game would be kind of like these conditions, like you would say, it's basically one, two, three, four. It's like, it's a choose your own adventure. Even with uh, Sierra games, like King's Quest and Leisure Suit Larry, um, you would- Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> I, I Sorry. I said that one because uh, it's actually really, um, uh, necessary for my point like it was really frustrating that your journey would require you to go pick up an item and you say pick up the can of coke off the ground or something and if you use that word it would always come back saying if you pick it it won't heal in other words it's saying use a different word it's, it's really frustrating so it's get item do this and it's kind of training you to have to talk a very specific way back then like that would be how you would interact with the the video game would be using these very simple prompts but It'd be very hard back then to to think that one day you would be in this photo real world let's say like unreal or something like that and in virtual reality you could just pick up the item and do your thing but that's kind of in a lot of ways where we are right now for the layman where what we're doing from the technology standpoint is amazing but even the interaction as well like being able to communicate the way that we are right now i'm sure very soon it's going to be a very different way where we're not needing to be as technical about what we're doing. It's going to be a lot more intuitive in a lot of ways as well, versus needing to figure out like a, a masterful language to communicate to the computer. It's it'll become I'm the artist. This is what I want, and being able to get that result a bit more predictably too. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, I think that it's interesting. I have not thought of that parallel which is uh, it's great the, the game parallel of like needing to learn a vocabulary to play the text text text-based games yeah that is actually a really great metaphor for this or parallel because i feel like it might be a good way to think about how to teach this too is almost like there there is like a sort of game logic to it and, and I, I think for sure my experience has been one of playing like like like, like this is the closest experience to art, like artistic play 
that I've had since I remember when I learned learning theater, where it's like you play theater games to like learn how to do it. And I feel like you, you need to sort of play latent space games to learn how to how to use it, where you're you're going to combine random concepts and see what happens. And it will, it sort of slaps you on the hand, like, you know, we, like depending on the, the different modes you're working in. But yeah, you could you get back broken images that don't make sense, right? If you don't phrase things properly. But once you sort of learn the, the sort of structure and the sort of like syntax, yeah, it'll start to reward you, you know, it'll reward you with like amazing, uh, amazing images. But, but to your point of like growing up with an Atari, I, n I never thought this would be possible that I could type a sentence and see a picture. Like I, I'm still reveling at this. Like, I don't know how many times I say it. I will always be like, this shouldn't be possible. Mm -hmm. Like it should, and, and it is, you know, and I feel like, okay, well I have to get past that point in my brain. It shouldn't be possible, mm -hmm. but it still blows my mind that like we've gotten to a place where, you know, researchers, scientists have figured out methods to convert language into pictures in a split second. Like we're down to sub one second per frame now. I think, you know, we were looking at images the other day that were, you know, seven tenths of a second to return. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a, there's a couple folks working on uh, experiments to get uh, five, they got five frames a second is something I saw the other day on, on someone had a, a notebook uh, they released on GitHub where they were getting lower resolutions, but five frames a second of AI generated uh, images is just incredible. You mentioned before about, let's say, uh, performing arts and, and plays, things like that. I mean, when you are talking about five frames a second, like that almost becomes like real time art directing where it's like, no, 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 move a bit over here. No, 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 um, make the trees a bit more green. Like you're getting that real time feedback versus hitting a button you know, it, that way it's ping pong, but now that is a conversation. It becomes like working with a camera, yeah. but it becomes like working with the camera and the entire space around the camera without any of the physical, like, requirements, you know? <laughs> it's like all the physical has been packed into the software, and it's even unlike Unreal Engine, it's unlike you know, uh, 3D Studio Max or C4D, where you're thinking dimensionally and you're thinking in terms of grids and shapes and dimensions. This is, in my mind, it's sort of almost like you're, you're thinking, you need to start thinking in terms of nerfs, uh, like the nerfs being neural radiance fields, where like you have your camera that's looking into space and that camera has a frustrum and then everything that it's seeing is the whole thing like there's nothing beyond the camera's point of view and what it's capturing and it's sort of like moving around in space as this um this just neural radiance field in ai but you can talk to the radiance fields and say be a bit more green and you can warp reality you know right and so the thing that i want to get to is where you have a playstation controller where you're just talking into it and you're just like describing your environment and steering your way through it and i'm sure we're like i feel like we're only weeks away from that to be honest like probably by the time this comes out someone will have figured it out and it'll be on github and it'll be like a community project the gamification of it mm -hmm. is something that i think is built in like i think that there is like a built-in play um it's the trick. The trick is basically, you, you know, I, I find is to to not exhaust my own um, willingness to be surprised. You know, there's something about like sitting down and being. I'm going to look some. I'm going to go somewhere new. I'm going to invent an entirely new place. I never thought like that before. Like I thought about that in terms of writing. You know, I think okay, I'm going to write some scenes, but like I have the idea of like a scene, but I did not think I'd be able to sit and write the scene and see it. You know, like I did study, you know, filmmaking and I did draw storyboards for tons of projects and I've done the pre-production thing where you spend three years to get to the sp spot where you're in the room and you go, wow, I'm finally here, <laughs> you know, and, and even with like, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's a different way of, of working where, where like I'm thinking now about like, you know, making films specifically within the, the constructs of text to image of like defining a space with words. Then from that space, I have an entirely new, uh, uh, you know, apparatus to tell a story inside of. And a really basic way to approach, you know, text to image 
it, for filmmakers is for pre-production. Mm -hmm. So you can use it to develop concept art. 